Hello everyone, and welcome to my Wrath of the Lich King Cloud Extractor Guide. In this guide I'm gonna show you all the maps, and also the route that I do for each zone. In the end of the video I'll also be showing you how you can obtain the mode extractor. In Wrath you can find three different kinds of clouds. You have the Cinder Cloud, the Arctic Cloud, and the Steam Cloud. The Steam Cloud contains crystallized fire and crystallized water. The Arctic Cloud contains crystallized water and crystallized air and the cinder cloud contains crystallized fire. Alright, so the first zone that I'm going to cover is Dragon Blight, and this is the spawn locations for the clouds. Now I'll also show you how I usually fly when I'm farming these in Dragon Blight. When you're farming in this zone, then I also recommend you to take a look at this location. Here there's a chance that you can find the cinder clouds for the crystallized fire. In Storm Peaks there's a lot of different spawn locations, and a lot of these will also require you to have a flying mount. So I definitely recommend you to wait till you are around level 80 before you start doing this. Also having an epic flying mount will make you a lot of more gold per hour. If you are wondering how I do my route in this zone, then it looks like this. When I'm farming in this zone, then I also like to track the time loss proto drake. This dragon has a chance to spawn and it's a rare dragon. When you kill this, you also get an epic flying mount. So make sure to have a unit scan when you're farming the clouds in storm peaks. If Storm Peaks is crowded, then you could always add in Ice Crown. This zone doesn't have that many spawn locations, but you could always do them and then go back to Storm Peaks. This is how I do my route in this zone. The last zone where I farm clouds is Sholosar Basin. Here there's a lot of different spawn locations, and this zone is really good also if you have herbalism at the same time. My route will usually look like this, but I also like to add in another spawn location, that is at the top north because up here you can find cinder clouds for the crystallized fire. So make sure to also once in a while check this location. Early in the video I also mentioned that I will show you how to get the extractor. This you can obtain from a quest as an engineer. You will have to head to Outland and in Sanka Marsh you can pick up the quest as Horde and Alliance. If you're wondering where you pick up these quests, then to the right you will see the location for Alliance and the one to the left will be the one for Horde. Once you pick up this quest, both factions will have to do the same thing. Go to this area and here you will need to loot some objects. Once you have looted all of them, you will have to head back to where you picked up the quest and now you will also be able to learn the schematic for the mode extractor. Alright, so that's about it for this guide. In case you would like to see more Wrath of the Lich King guides in the future, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment in the description below this video about what you would like to see. Peace.